Did you know that your solar panels are only 20% efficient? That's the solar panels on the roof of your house, the top of your RV or your camper van, or the panels you're going to buy if you haven't already got them. They are only 20% efficient. Did you know that? That's what we're talking about today. Welcome back to the channel, Dan Yorks. Um, so I recently did a video, if you haven't already seen it, on a solar panel kit that I got from Amazon. Um, and I've had a few questions about that uh, about that kit and solar panels in general and uh, around efficiency. So just a quick video today, I want to explain what solar panel efficiency means um, and why it is so poor. So 20% does not sound like a lot, does it? Um, if you've spent all that money on them solar panels on your house, you want 100% capacity, don't you? In an idealistic world, that is what we want. Um, but you're not getting that. You're only getting 20%. Um, so I just want to explain what the efficiency is. Um, so uh, let, let's, let's start with the, the, the sun. Um, if the sun was perpendicular to the ground, 90 degree right angle, um, so high in the sky, perfect conditions, nice clear day, you're getting all that sunlight that you possibly can get. Um, the way they measure it, the way they calculate it is, imagine you've got a, a, a square metre, so a, a one metre by one metre solar panel, um, that's going to receive enough sunlight to produce a thousand watts. So 1000 watts per square metre, God bless the metric system, makes it nice and easy to remember, doesn't it? One square metre of land, one square metre of solar panel, one square metre of whatever was receiving or will receive a thousand watts worth of sunlight. It technically would get a bit more. I think it eats the air at something like 1,350 watts. Um, but 350 watts on average is lost as it travels through the atmosphere. Um, I'm sure there's a more technical uh, explanation for it than that, but that's all we need to know for this. So by the time it gets through the atmosphere um, and onto the ground, or uh, the roof of your house, whatever it is, you're going to receive 1,000 watts. But we're only getting 20%. So if you have a, a one metre square solar panel, it should be producing a thousand watts of energy, but it isn't. It's only going to produce 200 watts of energy because it is only 20% efficient. And the reason for that is in 2024 right now, that's the best we can do. That's it. It's as simple as that. Technology. That is the, no matter where you purchase your solar panel from, no matter how much you spend on your solar panel, it is going to vary between about 18% and maybe as much as 22%. I think that's the highest I've seen. So between 18 to 22% is what you're going to get. That's it. That's what efficiency means. So when you're purchasing your solar panel and you look on the back at the specs and you see 20% efficient, that's what that means. It, it sounds very low. It is kind of low and it one fifth of its potential. Um, but that's the best you're going to get. That, that That's what we've got with our current technology. Um, so the only other thing to consider is if you are going to have solar panels put on the roof of your house now, um, that's what you're going to be looking at. That's that's the efficiency you can expect to return. Um, so you can imagine in the background, and we've done a bit of work on uh, on this at university, um, this is a big topic now. Solar panels, um, it's a huge industry. Um, so you've got engineers um, and manufacturers all over the world working on that. You know, there's a, a thousand watts of energy there, and we're only harnessing 200 watts of that 1,000 watts because that's what we can do. So you can imagine it is a um, hot topic right now for uh, the, they are trying to improve solar panels. And I have read reports that um, in Germany, they've got some solar panels that have been manufactured um, and obviously in China, as you could expect. Um, the last unofficial report that I read was that um, the Chinese have got some solar panels that they're working on that they believe are twice as efficient so be 40 percent efficiency and um, and when they're going to production they're going to be half the cost so for half the cost you're going to get twice as much power and um, so bear that in mind if you're having solar panels put on your roof now and um, and you're looking at solar panels with like a 20 year guarantee i reckon in 10 years time you're going to want to switch them solar panels out anyway because there will be 40% efficiency, if not 50% efficiency, solar panels on the market in 10 years. I mean, as a guess, I don't know. Um, but anyway, that's what efficiency means. Uh, so 20% efficient sounds crap. It's crap, really, on the whole scheme of things. If if there's if there's a power source there, potential power source from the sun of a thousand watts, and we're only harnessing 200 watts, uh, we want more, don't we? Uh, it's human nature. We always want more. Um, but that's what that means. So we will get there, but right now, 
that's the best you're gonna get that's what 20 percent efficiency means thank you if you like the channel please like and subscribe check out the other videos especially the ones on solar panels uh, lots more videos coming um keep the questions coming and i'll try my best to answer them best i can thank you